Welcome to today's mini overflow, guys. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Let's get started. So we'll begin on the top of our mats in our mountain pose. So first of all, let's find a good connection here, the feet and the earth. Focus on planting the feet down, lifting up through the front of the body, grounding down through the back body. And let's just have some fun with today's practice because obviously I can't do this seriously. So let's let go of any judgment, ourselves and of others, letting go of any criticism, and just be here in this moment with whatever comes up for you today. And whilst we're here in our mountain pose, Tadasana, let's start to deepen through the breath and you can bring a little bit of a smile here as well, even if it feels a bit silly. <laughs> so breathing in deeply to the belly. And as we exhale, just letting go. Use the next small part of your day to have some fun, to tap into what feels good for you. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Active through the palms and drawing up that energy through the soles of the feet. Feel the energy racing around the body and let's embrace it. We're going to bring a bit of movement here, so we're going to inhale, bend through the knees, scoop the arms up and over, exhale, hands to heart. And again, inhale to bend, exhale, hands to heart. And once more, moving with the breath, inhale to dip down, and exhale, hands to heart. Perfect. Inhale, take the palms up. Exhale to rain it down into our standing forward fold, Uttanasana. And let's be mindful here to relax through the neck and allow the head to grow heavy. Hip points moving towards the ceiling. So imagine someone's holding two bits of string and they're gently pulling up from your hips. Keeping our connection with the soles of the feet and the earth beneath us. And then from here, we're going to inhale into a halfway lift. So hands can come to rest on the shins or on the thighs. Gently bring the elbows back and together, shoulder blades squeezing back, neck nice and long. Exhale to lower, bend through the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, the version that feels good for you. Exhale to lower. Inhale, scoop the arms up and over, back to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. So we're getting that breath traveling around the body, warming up the legs. Inhale, take the palms up. Exhale to rain it down. This time, planting the hands. And we will step back the right foot. Lower the right knee down to the earth. And then we're going to inhale, become soft on the fingertips, lift the chest up and take the eye line forwards. And no pressure here, if that doesn't feel good, keep the hands towards the ground. Just make sure we're not collapsing into our foundations here. And then from here, a little bit more connection with the fingertips and the earth, we're going to gently peel the hips back, left toes curling towards the face, we come into our runner's stretch. So we should get a nice stretch here through the hamstring, keeping a bend through that left knee, <clears throat> deepening the stretch through the hamstring. One more breath here, exhale to roll back through. Keeping this left knee in line with the left ankle, plant the right hand on the floor next to the left foot. Inhale, open up to the left side of the mat. So we've got a nice twist here. And all the twists we work on today, imagine them wringing out tension from the body. So. Almost like when you bring out a tea towel after the washing up. Getting rid of all that negativity, all the stuff we don't want. Bring that left hand back down to the earth. Lift the right knee and step back to a high plank. Perfect, a little bit of core activation here. Tummy pulling in and up gently, neck nice and long. One more breath. Exhale, down facing dog. 
Now it's our first down facing dog of today, so feel free to keep a bend in the knees and don't worry if your heels aren't touching the floor. Be kind to yourselves, give yourself some space to move, to progress in your practice. Keeping the connection here with the palms and the earth. You can pedal out a little bit if it feels good. Now from here we're going to take a nice inhale and as we exhale step forward with the right foot to the front of our mat. You can use your hand to help you get there if you need to. Remember knee in line with the ankle as we lower the left knee down to the ground. Take a big breath in, soft on the fingertips, lift the chest and eye line. Exhale to peel back, finding our runner's stretch again. <clears throat> So again, we want those toes curving towards the face, a nice bend in the knee. And then big breath in, exhale to roll back through and forwards, plant the left hand next to the right foot, inhale, open up to the right. Nice massage for the internal organs. <clears throat> Staying strong in the legs, so we're not collapsing into our foundations. One more big breath. Exhale, bring the hand back down to the earth. Stepping back to your high plank, and this time, the choice is yours to lower to the knees, or to stay raised up here, and we're going to shift the weight forwards wherever you are, hug the elbows in, tummy pulling in, and then exhale all the way down. So remember, we can be on the knees too, all the way down to the mat. Then extend the legs long behind you if the knees were lowered. Hands underneath the shoulders, find connection with the top of the feet and the mat. Inhale to cobra. So using the muscles in the legs and the back. We're breathing here. We're not panicking. Bring a little smile. One more big breath in. Exhale to lower. Again, hugging those elbows close to the body. We're going to lift to the knees. So find core connection here. And then again, finding down facing dog. <clears throat> and then when you're ready to, we're going to take a slow walk to the top of our mat. Find our standing forward fold once more. And then roll up slowly through the spine. Inhale, bring the arms up and over. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, send the palms up. Exhale to rain it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Your version, remember. Exhale to lower. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to lower. Plant the hands and step back on the right foot. Now this time, if you want to, you can keep that right knee raised up. If that's not for you today, Take it back to the ground. We're going to inhale, reach the arms up, hugging the legs to the midline. Nice low lunge here. Meeting the hands in prayer position, leaning over to the left side with the upper body. And then from here, bring the hands in front of the heart and bring the right elbow wrapping around the left thigh. Pressing into that back heel, connecting with the legs, Press the hands together, keeping the palms active here. Again, a nice deep twist, bringing out any tension, any negativity, bringing us back to this moment. Bring the breath, find anchor within your breath. One more cycle. You might be shaking a little bit, let's embrace it. <laughs> and then we're going to inhale, bring that arms back up to centre. Exhale to rain it down. Great work, guys. Step back with the left foot. Big breath in. Exhale, down facing dog. Okay, taking a second to breathe here. Use it as a recovery pose. Take a nice big breath in, and when you're ready, exhale, step forward with the right foot. And again, the choice to have your back knee lowered or raised. Inhale, lift the arms up. Gathering strength through the legs, hugging the inside of the thighs to the middle of the mat. Meet the hands in prayer position above the head, leaning to the right side of the mat. So you feel a great stretch here through the side of the body. 
Exhale, bring the hands to heart. And then find your twist. So hooking the left elbow around the right thigh this time. Really find that connection with the hands. Press into the back heel of the back foot. And don't worry if you lose your balance. Have a laugh, have a smile, we're okay. Feel the tremor, feel the shake, the energy moving around the body, embrace it. One more breath. And then returning to center, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, rain it down. Stepping back to our high plank. And again, the choice here is yours to lower to the knees. Shift the weight forwards, hug the elbows in. Exhale to lower. Inhale into Cobra, find that connection with the legs, the muscles in the back body. Exhale to lower. And then gently bring your hips back to your heels, child's pose, just for a few moments. Allow the breath to settle ever so slightly. And then bringing the hands back to the earth. Gently bring yourselves up. Curl the toes under. Last down facing dog of today. And then next exhale, peel those hips towards the ceiling. <clears throat> Grow heavy in the heels. See if we can find a bit more space here. And then taking a nice slow walk to the top of our mat. Roll up slowly through the spine. Inhale, reach the arms up and over. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, take the palms up. Exhale, rain it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale, bring the arms up and over. Exhale, hands to heart. And let's find our mountain pose, Tadasana, once more. So bring the arms by our sides. <coughs> Fringe isn't the greatest. Hair style for yoga. Hands by our sides. Active through the palms, find that lift through the chest once more, grounding down through the back body. Allow the breath to settle. And just taking the time here to reassure ourselves that we are okay in this moment. shoulders, the palms active. In this moment, we are safe and secure within ourselves. In this moment, we are supported. Maybe bring a little smile, a deep inhale, and then sigh everything out. Allow yourselves to feel strong and supported. The feet grounding down, the palms active. And meet the hands in front of the heart space. And gently lower the chin towards the chest. Show yourself some love. And if that's not for you, then it's just a nice stretch for the back of the neck. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.